Hi there. In this video, we're going to show you how we created a customer service chatbot for a solar panel installation company using Flowwise. Now, Flowwise is an incredible platform for creating AI applications from chatbots to uh, web apps to even mobile apps. And so what we're going to do is we're going to show you how the chatbot works uh, and then we're going to take you under the hood and show you how we created it using Flowwise. Now, in this particular video, we're going to use Flowwise along with something called custom tools to give our chatbot superpowers and allow it to do additional things beyond just asking or answering questions. Now, this is a lot like OpenAI's assistants and their custom functions, uh, only if you have Flowwise, you'll be able to create as many custom tools and, and agents as you want, whereas with OpenAI, you actually have to, um, when you do create your assistants uh, and you upload the information uh, like your documents I believe it's something like 20 or 30 cents uh, per day per agent so but uh, let's go ahead and show you basically how the chatbot works and then we'll take you inside of Flowwise uh, to show you uh, how everything is set up now in this particular case our chatbot is going to be able to do three different things uh, one it's going to be able to answer questions and uh, two it's going to be able to take quote requests and then send that information to our website um, or to our CRM and our Google Sheets. And then the third thing it's going to do is it's going to allow uh, the visitor to get a basic calculation for the cost of their um, of their uh, solar panel installation. Uh, and so basically, we're going to be able to create a basic calculator uh, that's all going to be controlled by uh, our chatbot. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, exactly what it's going to do here. So the first thing we're going to do is we can just ask a basic question. What does Aurora Solar do? And it should answer based on our uh, documents. So is uh, Aurora Solar is a company that specializes in residential solar panel installation. OK, and now what we're going to do is we want to request a quote. And what it should do is it should ask us for our email address and our name. But sometimes with um, these chatbots, you actually have to um, just continue to work on them until their outputs are more consistent. So let's do that again. Let's request a quote. OK, so we had to clear the um, we had to clear the uh, the chat. And, uh, and now what we're going to do is we're going to just type in, uh, let's see, Alexa. Alexa, let's say, uh, read. And then it's going to be Alexa at gmail.com. And then in terms of power requirements each day that we need, we're going to say 25 kilowatts. OK, so it says, thank you for providing the information. Uh, your quote request has been submitted. OK, so now we actually want to check to see if that has actually been uh, sent to our uh, CRM inside of our Google Sheets. So we're going to go ahead and check to make sure that that is actually there. And we can see that Alexa Read is actually here. So it actually took our information. It uh, chose the right tool. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Uh, and then it actually, through our automation uh, platform, we're using uh, N8N. It's like Zapier. Um, it actually went ahead and saved that inside of our Google Sheets. So the chatbot is actually working. So now what we want to do is we want to get a basic cost for the installation. So uh, we're going to say calculate estimate. And usually when you're setting up your chatbot, uh, what you really want to do is you want to uh, eventually give it additional like instructions or, or context so that it can actually um, choose your tool in a variety of different situations. So for not, right now, we're just going to say calculate estimate. And then it is going to ask us for it should ask us for our power requirement but because we've been working with this it's actually um, the conversation is already in its memory so we're going to actually go ahead and we're going to clear the chat 
this happens a lot when you're using with uh, chatbots. And we're going to try that again. Okay, so it says, sure, I can help you with that. Can you provide me with the daily power requirements in kilowatts? Now, again, this is another custom tool that the chatbot is uh, choosing. Uh, and then it's going to, based on that tool, it's going to give us an answer um, that we're looking for. So we're going to say something like 25 or 35 kilowatts. And so um, based on the power requirement, of 35 kilowatts, the solar panel estimation is $23,724. And uh, and that's pretty consistent with what we've been getting. Um, usually when the chatbot actually makes things up, <laughs> it's a wild number that's a, like an even number. But because we actually have a specific formula that we'll show you, um, that shows you that the chatbot is actually using the tool and that the tool is actually uh, executing the, the proper way, the right way it should be uh, executing. So let's go ahead and now let's Let's go inside of our Flowwise and show you what um, everything looks like, what the actual uh, flow looks like here. So we have our uh, conversation retrieval agent that we're using, and that allows us to uh, choose multiple tools. And we have a few tools that we have connected uh, to our agent. Uh, and then, of course, we have normal memory and our, um, our actual LL LLM model, in this case, OpenAI. And so um, the first tool that we use, oh, and actually, so if you're thinking or you're asking, well, how do you get the, um, the, uh, the document retrieval um, um, modules? Basically, what you want to do so that you can actually answer questions from a document, uh, what you want to do is you want to use the retriever tool, and then you connect that, uh, you connect your, your vector uh, database to your retriever tool and your embeddings uh, module to your vector uh, module and then this essentially operates like another tool uh, so that when you ask questions the chatbot will, add, will actually use this tool rather than the other tools so that's that's how you do that but let's go ahead and actually look at uh, the request node and this is the uh, quote request that we used in the beginning so if we go ahead, and this is again is a custom tool, and if you want to know where the, the custom tools are, you basically just go to your add nodes here, and if you just type in custom, then you will, um, you will come to the tool. It's under tool section here. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually take a look at our, um, our request quote tool here. And you'll see that in the beginning, uh, it asks you for a tool name, uh, which you'll need, and then a description. And this description is very important because it allows you, or it allows the chatbot to decide when to actually use the tool. So it's extremely important that you, uh, you make it as descriptive as you can. And then what we have is we have all of the variables that we are requesting from the user in order to do, you know, in, in order to actually use the tool. So in this case, uh, we're collecting the name, the email address, and the power requirements uh, from the customer. Uh, and then down below, we're actually making a, um, a, uh, an HTTP request, a post request, um, and we're gonna send this to um, our automation uh, platform N8N, and we're gonna show you that in a moment. But basically what this does is it, it essentially collects the information and it contacts our webhook at N8N and then NAN forwards that. So if we go ahead and show that to you now, the quote request is here. And as you can see, this is a lot like uh, Zapier, where you can connect to different, um, different nodes and different applications. And so basically, uh, the webhook is here, it collects the information, and then it shows the, uh, basically takes the information and it uh, forwards it to Google Sheets. And so in order to have this, you actually have to have, you know, you have to set this up with your Google Sheets account. Uh, sometimes it takes a little while to play with things, uh, especially because what you're essentially doing is you are uh, passing the, um, the information, your, your name, your email address, and your power requirements, you're saving these variables, and then you are passing them into your Google Sheets. And so it's very important that you have this, um, you have these uh, variables entered, and also that you already have an account set up 
uh, within N8N for your Google Sheets. So that's essentially how that works. And, um, and because this is already active, um, as soon as information comes in, you know, any time of the day, uh, that will go straight to your uh, Google Sheets. And so now what we want to do is we want to take a look at the other tool that we used, which is the, um, the Calculate Estimate tool. Okay. And for this tool, we also used NAN um, to make a, um, uh, an HTTP uh, call, a post call, I believe. And so basically what we did was we have the same thing. We have the name, we have the uh, description of what happens. We have the um, variables that we need. So we need the power uh, request or the power uh, requirements. Um, this is not, let's see, let's see here. Okay, so this is something additional. Uh, but um, essentially you can see, I was doing some troubleshooting here, but basically it does the same thing. It passes the information to our N8N. And then in this case, uh, let me show you the N8N uh, workflow here. In this case, what it did was it actually uses a, um, a custom JavaScript code to do the calculation. So this is our calculator. Um, and so as you can see, uh, we have the webhook here and, um, and then it passes that information to a format not module. Um, and then from that uh, format, formatting module, it goes to our, uh, our estimate here, our uh, custom code. Um, and basically we take our formula for calculating the, um, the total cost of the solar panels. Uh, and then we return the results back to our chat bot. So basically it's responding back to our webhook. And, uh, and then that chat bot will then take that information and, um, and then give us the answer. And so what's interesting is that it actually returns a number, but the chat bot will actually give us like, you know, more, more context, more information. So if we go ahead and we click on that, um, that link again, we can see that um, this is very important. Uh, you know, setting these up is very straightforward, but actually getting the um, the formats for some of the, the strings and the data is actually extremely important. And so uh, for this, um, you definitely want to try to look at the examples as much as you can. And ever, whenever there's an issue, um, either look at the templates that are already there, or you know, you can even you know ask ChatGPT, for example, to give you um, to basically help you with some of the things that you might need when getting this set up. And so, like I said, this can be uh, this can be easy to set up if you have everything the right done the right way, or it can be you can run into some some troubleshooting issues that you'll need to iron out. Um, but this is basically how you um, you set this up, and how you can start to use custom tools. And like I said, they are extremely uh, extremely powerful because with custom tools, you can actually. Um, really extend the power and functionality of your agents and you can do just uh, just about anything that you can imagine uh, with your custom tools and so in the next video we're gonna take this even further and we're gonna show you a few other custom tools that we created for this chatbot okay so I'll see you in the next video